Like go get a turkey today. Absolutely love my new job for many, many, many reasons. It's really forced me to like slow down. You forget my dad. <laughs> so I'm getting a little bit of color and a little bit of color. Wow, dad was... did some Thanksgiving shopping. Say hi to Rachel. Yeah. Hi, Rachel. Hi. But it's another day in which to excel. Today is Sunday, but it's uh, really Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving, uh, if you're not from the United States, is on Thursday, and that's uh, a holiday where everyone, it's really, it's basically a harvest holiday where back in the day, the Indians and the colonists got together and celebrated and they were thankful for the harvest. So that's continued for decades and uh, Jill is flying. She, she flies back in uh, on Monday, tomorrow, or Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. So she'll be back, the kids will be back, and uh, it'll be rocking here at the Donnelly House. Look what Jill, Jilly did with the nice flowers. Beautiful, so uh, all of those seats will be filled up with uh, with kids and parents and all that stuff, so we're looking forward to it. I finally have been able to get the house pretty decently clean, except for the kids' rooms. That's really an issue for us. Uh, let me show you the room situation. There's Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, you bud? He's a little sad because he's missing Alice. We can't find Alice, but she still hasn't come home and still worried about her, but that's another story for another time. Uh, okay, here we go. This is Ryan's room and Brennan's room. You know, he's a teenager, I get it, but look, come on, really? <laughs> he's really kind of a hoarder. So I don't know, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know where to start there. I mean, look, really ridiculous. So here's the difference. Here's Katie's room. <laughs> Little Katie stool back in the day. Anyway, we're looking forward to it. It's gonna be great. You should stay tuned because we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. I think we're gonna probably hit the beach. We're gonna do dinner. We're gonna cook a turkey. I gotta go get a turkey today. So it's, uh, it's all good. Hey guys, and happy Sunday now. It's Sunday. I'm on reserve. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know that reserve means on call. So I'm on call on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I started on call yesterday, and yesterday um, I got called in for airport reserve, which means I was in there for five hours waiting for um, them to call me to do something or have me do something, and they didn't. So I just hung out and like got caught up on some things, watched the Florida State game, met some flight attendants, and it's pretty late in the day, and I haven't been called today either. So I'm over at my friend Lori's house. You guys have met Lori before. It's Brady's mom. You guys know Brady. And um, she's making me dinner, and I have to say, that you know if you've been watching my vlog for the past few weeks you know that I've been on this ready reserve this on call and very rarely have I got used if I get used and I go somewhere I'm like vlogging and telling you where I'm going but otherwise just like sitting in the lounge is I don't know first of all I don't know if I'm allowed to film in the lounge but second of all it's not that exciting so what I realized about this whole ready reserve thing though is even though I'm not flying, I at least get to stay at my house, which is nice. I get to see all of my friends like from Maryland, which is amazing. It's the best part of it. And it's really forced me to like slow down, which is nice because when I'm at home, I am moving a mile a minute. I have 50,000 things to do and it's always this, that, and the other thing. But when I'm here, I'm kind of like waiting to get called so I can't really get into many big projects I'm sort of like I'm not really like antsy anymore I used to I was antsy a few weeks ago like oh my gosh what if they call me but sort of now I know how the system works and I I sort of can predict whether or not I'm gonna get called or not um I say that now everything will change next week because it's Thanksgiving right it'll be like Phew, totally out the window but anyway it's really forced me to just really not have much to do to sort of like I don't know, garden or go spend time with my friends or like read a book. Like literally it is like kind of changed my life in that way as well. So I really do like ready reserve. I love to fly, but I also am enjoying the sort of waiting and, and needing waiting to be needed, I guess, which is really very cool. Anyway, so I'm at Lori, so I'm gonna take you guys in. She's making me, or she's making she, her and her husband, Bobby and I dinner. So um, I'll... here's Miss Lori. How are you? Good. What are you making us? Um, meatball, leftover meatballs. Mm -hmm. Can I look in there? Yes. A homemade oh, meatballs. Oops, sorry guys, whoops. Okay, homemade. First of all, Lori makes the best homemade meatballs and one year for my birthday. Oh yeah. 
I made gelled meatballs for her birthday. <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> gift I think I've ever received <laughs> ever. <laughs> They're so good. Um, All right. So I'm just making um, open face meatball subs. With what's that? So that's onion jam. And oh I'm gonna bake this and then we're gonna put the we'll put the meatballs on top of it. We'll slice the meatballs, put the meatballs on it, and then put um, burrata cheese and then let it melt. Oh my gosh. And then we'll have it with salad. All right, all right. So you guys, I could be cooking at home, which I would never come up with this. I could be eating at Chick-fil-A. Well, no, it's Sunday, so I guess I couldn't. But I get to come over to Lori's house on Ready Reserve. Like, this is the best thing ever. I love my job. <laughs> Catch up with Lori, and we went to, like, the other night on Friday night. So we had we did, like, what we normally do. We usually go to happy hour at this place on Friday nights. And I haven't done it in a while because I haven't been here. But we got to do it on Friday night. So it's I'm getting the best of both worlds, which is so amazing. I absolutely absolutely love my new job for many, many, many reasons, many ancillary reasons, which, uh, which aren't really part of like South, what Southwest is doing. <laughs> but if, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells fantastic in here. In the meantime, Mike and Brennan and Ryan are over at Nan and Pap's house having dinner. Katie's not there yet because she doesn't come home until Tuesday, but they're over at Nan and Pap's. And I think they're having chicken Parmesan and something, I don't know what else, but I'm glad that mom and dad get to see them because then they leave for, they leave for Thanksgiving. Tomorrow they're going to Aunt Wendy's house in New Jersey. So they're all having dinner tonight and then, um, and Ryan came home from camp. So hopefully you guys saw that. Can't wait to hear how his camp experience went. But in the meantime, I'm eating at Shea Lori and it's very exciting and very good smelling. Um, all right, you guys, this is what the dinner looks like. Look at how beautiful that is. These are the sandwiches and the salad. I'm very excited. Bon appetit. Mm. All right, there is uh, Brenda Michael Donnelly's in the house. What up? Good evening. Good evening. Got to eat dinner with Nana and Pat Pat. Feel good to be back? Yeah, it does. Uh, got real dinner cooked for me. Yep. Hang out for a little bit. Still need to do some school and whatnot, but. And shave too. Should probably do that. <laughs> but we're just chilling and waiting for mom and Katie to get back, and then that's all. Then the band's back together. Then we give thanks. Yeah. And then uh, UFFSU Friday. Jordan Travis, thank you. Get better. <laughs> um, Brandon Staley, you, you're gone. <laughs> Tom Telesco, you also, you're gone. All right, thanks. All right, good night. <laughs> All right, well, maybe every day was eating dinner with Nan and Pat. Oh, that was nice. That was a good it's... time. And Aunt Wendy and Uncle Tom were there too, so it was nice. Totally fine. All right. Big day tomorrow. All right, you guys, so I thought it would be a good idea that while I have all this time to wait for my um, reserve, that I would take the opportunity to get my hair cut because I never get it done at home. I never do. So I'm getting a little bit of color and a little bit of color. All right, you guys, what do you think? This is my new hair. It is short, short. Do you ever remember when it was like this? Oh my gosh. So when it's curly, it's gonna be like, mm -hmm. but right now it's straight and I love it. I am so happy. I was just feeling like my long hair was just dragging down and it was very unhealthy and everything. So I got a little bit of color, a little bit of cut and used my time wisely. And I'll tell you, I was trying to explain it in the uh, salon, but it was a little bit hard to explain because there were people around and I was underneath the dryer. But this is the deal. So, you know, I've been just sitting ready reserve and sometimes I'm used and for the most time I'm not they don't fly me so I was like well you know I've been relaxing and slowing down which is a very nice thing very nice thing I was able to spend so much time with my friends while I was here it was just like 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 I lived here all over again I just had lunch with my friend Lisa and I was um, I saw just so many friends but anyway um this morning I was like huh you know what is is there something that I could do with this time while I'm waiting that like I would do at home, but I'm too busy to do at home. And one of those things is like getting my hair cut. Like I'd never take the time to like go to a salon and get my hair cut and all that. I never take the time to get my toenails done. Like I do it myself at home, like usually at midnight. So I was like, okay, I could do one or the other. I don't really want to get my toenails done though, because I want to wait until right before like the holidays, if I'm going to be wearing open toed shoes down in Florida and that kind of thing. But I was like, I could get my hair cut. But I do not want to get my hair, like, color on my hair because I didn't know if I was, like, 
if I got called to go fly, I have to be there and ready in two hours. And if I'm getting my hair colored, it might take two hours to get that done. So anyway, but the lady was like, oh, I can just glaze it for you. It takes 20 minutes. So she did, so she glazed it. And I'm like, I can get my hair cut. Seriously, I'm not joking you. Right after, like I had my little consultation with the hairdresser, her name is Jill also. And we decide what we're gonna do and she goes, she goes, okay, I'm gonna go mix the color. So she goes and she starts mixing the color and I get a call from the airline. They're like, to be here in two hours, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I went over to him like, hey, I've gotta be there in two hours. She's like, don't worry, I can get this on and cut and dried and you out of here in an hour. I'm like, really? So we're like, okay, let's go. So she starts like getting it and doing it and then I get another call back from the airline saying, oh Sam, never mind. You don't have to be here in two hours. Somebody came and took that trip, like, okay, whatever. So anyway, she, she did it, and then I had time to go have lunch with my neighbor, and then I picked up Mike's dry cleaning, because he does he does dry cleaning up there. He had something altered, like, um, hemmed. And now I'm going to the airport, I'm gonna see my parents, because they're flying in to Baltimore, and, and driving up to Pennsylvania. So I will see them at the airport, at their gate, which is very nice, get to say hi, and hugs and kisses, and then they'll go to Pennsylvania, and I don't think I am gonna work tonight because it's pretty close to the end. I, there's like one or two more flights that I could potentially work. So I'll be at the airport in case I do. But if I don't, then I get to fly home tonight. Actually, even if I do work it, I'm hoping I'll be able to fly home tonight. We'll see. So stay tuned to find out and then we will wrap this up. I cannot wait to see Brennan and hear about Ryan's camp. Did you forget my dad? <laughs> oh, he doesn't walk. <laughs> Why don't you get a lap there? Well, because I'm not working right now. I'm not working. Well, yeah. All right, now here's what I was thinking. You what should were you thinking I should do? Oh, she just say that online. There's Pat right there. <laughs> Hi, Pat. <laughs> Welcome. Who is that? It's me. Hello. Mm -hmm. It's me. Oh, where, got, where are you going? Yeah, I'm coming to say hi to you. Huh? I'm coming so, to say hi to you. you. So I introduced Lisa and Carrie. If you guys have watched our other videos before, you know Lisa and Carrie, my flight attendant friends. Lisa has taken my dad under her wing, yes, and she <laughs> she's walking along with Pat. And there's Carrie and Nana walking through the airport. Hi guys. Billy is en route. Here's what it looks like. She took off. They turned west and then they headed south. And there they are, heading to Florida. Here she comes. Here she comes. Going out to pick her up right now. Because by the time I leave the house and get to SRQ, she will be back. So looking forward to seeing her and uh, catching up with Jilla. Okay, Jilly just texted me. She is on her way. She's probably going 500 miles an hour right now, but she says she has a hankering for um, crispy fries. So stop the Chick-fil-A. Just ordered her a peppermint shake, which is good for the holidays, and a small peppermint shake and crispy fries with extra ketchup because she requested that too. So I'm going to grab this and head down to the airport, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, film her uh, flying in. Here she comes. Woo! Time. All right, you guys, I landed. I am home. I am so excited to be home. Mike's gonna pick me up. For some reason on the plane, I was craving tater tots. I love overdone Orida tater tots with ketchup. Mike didn't have any of those, so he said, how about if I just get you some Chick-fil-A waffle fries? So I'm pretty much looking forward to the Chick-fil-A waffle fries. I hope he got me some. <laughs> I haven't eaten much today. I did have a lunch with my friend Lisa. I had salad, but looking forward to that. Happy to be home. I'm more so looking forward to seeing Mike and Ryan and Brennan, but Chick Fil A waffle fries will hold me over till then. Hey there, Hi, handsome. You all right? You? I'm so excited to see you. <laughs> Do you have waffle fries? What? What? Oh, nice hair. Thank you. It's great. Mwah. New do. New do. Do you Looks like great. it? Looks great. I love it. Thank you. I had some time, obviously. <laughs> and um, I was getting sick of my hair. So I... It looks great. Thank you so much. I just went for it. So I like it. It's fun. Yeah. I haven't had shorter hair in a while. <laughs> and I...
That I can't wait good. to go home and see the boys. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Thank you, baby doll. Ryan, welcome home, buddy. How was it? Good. I missed you. I brought home some um, Chick-fil-A fries, but they're for me. I'm Whoa. happy to share them with you. Would you like me to share them with you? Well, wow, Dad was, did some Thanksgiving shopping. I was going to make some surprises with cookies. But... Oh, but what happened? We don't have any Crisco. Is that true? Yeah, I swear. Okay, I believe you. Is Brennan here? Yeah. Let me go say hi to you, man. Let's go say hi to you, man. Ryan, did you notice? It's shorter. Nice, I love it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, you look today? She got home today? today? I was about to make cookies and I looked and I left and she's just vibing. I was like, oh, word. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, I'm not going to bed tonight. I'm going to hang out with you guys all night. Let me go say hi to Brennan. Hi, Eddie. Did anybody feed the cat? No. Hi. Hi, love. Hi, Josh. Uh oh, what's happening with the game? Oh, I love you. So happy you're home. Welcome back. Mwah. Say hi to Rachel. Hi, Rachel. How are you, sweetie? Yeah. Good to see you. You too. Thank you. When did you get home? I got home. <laughs> back home now. This is what I love. The kids hanging out in the kitchen. Brennan's upstairs with a friend watching the football game, which just ended, so I'm not even sure. They might be playing video games or something. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. It was a lot of days combined into one. Comment below what made you guys happy today. What made me happy is coming home to my kids. I miss them. And Mike, of course. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. And we'll see you tomorrow.